Hello friends, today we are going to learn a program to pack two unpacked BCD digits stored in memory location 4200H and 4201H. So before execution, let's say that we are having two numbers on 4200H. We are having number 08H and on 4201H we are having number 02H. So we are having these two unpacked BCD number. Now we need to pack them. Then after packing these numbers, it will become either 82H or 28H. Then how to decide whether it will become 82H or 28H? For that, we will read last line of the program. Assume that least significant digit is stored at memory location 4200H. So at this location 4200H, 08 is our least significant digit that's why this number is going to be 28h and we need to store the result which is actually 28h at memory location 4300h so after execution we are expecting at 4300h we should store value 28h so this is expected now let's write program let's say before execution content of 4200h is 08h and content of 4201H is 02H. We will start our program from 7000H. Over here, we will write our first instruction as LDA 4200H. Here, LDA stands for load accumulator. So, we will load the accumulator with the content of 4200H. Now, content of 4200H was 08H. That 08H will get loaded inside the accumulator. And therefore, the content of accumulator will now become 08H. Content of accumulator will now become 08H. Now, what we will do? We will take the backup of this number inside the B register. Before that, we should know how many byte instruction it is. It is a 3 byte instruction. LDA is first byte and its opcode we will write on 7000H. Then second byte is 42 and last byte is 00. So while writing down the hex code, we will write 00 over here. After that, we will write 42. Then we will take backup of this accumulator value inside the B register. Therefore, we will write next instruction MOV B comma A. So what will happen? The content of A will get copied inside the B register. Now content of A was 08, therefore content of B register will now become 08H. So we got our first number in B register. Now we are ready to take the second number. For that we will write instruction LTA 4201H. Now because of LDA 4201H what will happen? This instruction will load accumulator with the content of 4201H. And before execution, content of 4201H was 02. Therefore, new value of accumulator will become 02H. Now, what we will do over here, let's try to understand that first. We are having 02H. So, that can be written in binary as 00080 is 0. And 2 can be written as 0, 0, 1, 0. Then what we will do? We will rotate this content towards the left. Once we rotate that content towards the left, the new value will become 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now this value is 0, 4, H. One more time we will rotate towards the left. So new value will become 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now it is 08H. One more time we will rotate towards the left. Then new value will become 0001 0000. Now this value is 10H. One more time we will rotate that content. Then new value will become 0010 0000. And this value is 20H. So we started with 0 to H and after 4 rotation we got new value as 20 H. 
This is our rotation number one, rotation number two, rotation number three, rotation number four. So what we will do, we will convert this zero two into twenty after rotating that number towards the left four times, and in that twenty we will add our first value which was zero eight, and in that way we are going to get our required twenty eight number. So this method we are going to follow, but before that. This LDA instruction is a three byte instruction. So the opcode of LDA will come over here, and this four two zero one is written in this way. Zero one and four two. Now what we need to do? We need to rotate the content of accumulator towards the left. Therefore, we will write instruction RLC. RLC stands for rotate left without carry, and We are going to do this process four number of times. So this is rotated rotation number one, then R L C rotation number two, R L C rotation number three, R L C rotation number four. So after fourth rotation, our accumulator will now become twenty H. See, before rotating that contained, the accumulator was zero to H. Then after rotating that, we got new value is equal to twenty H. Now what we will do, we will add the value of B register in it. Before execution, B register was zero eight H. Therefore, over here we will write instruction add B. Now because of this, what will happen? The new value of accumulator will become accumulator plus B. Now accumulator was twenty. And the content of B register was zero eight, so new value of accumulator will become twenty eight H. So that was required. Okay, so we are expecting our answer to be twenty eight H, and we got that answer twenty eight. Okay, now what we will do? We will store this value on four three zero zero H because our program is saying that after packing that. We should transfer it to four three zero zero H. Therefore, finally, we will write instruction STA four three zero zero H. Because of this, whatever number accumulator is holding, that will get stored on four three zero zero H. So accumulator was twenty eight H. Therefore, after execution of this instruction, four three zero zero H will take the value of accumulator, which is. 28h so we successfully completed our task now sta is a 3 byte instruction of code of sta will come over here and this 4300 we will write 00 and 43 so we successfully successfully completed our job that's why we will terminate our program by writing either hlt instruction or rst one instruction these instructions are used for stopping the program so these instructions stop the program so we successfully got 28h inside 4300h thank you